Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 4 of my Champions League jersey review. The choice for the jersey was a tough one. Do I go with the great 91 Juventus shirt that I have hanging there? Or do I go with my Atletico Madrid shirt? In the end I decided on Atletico Madrid because I think that this shirt looks much closer to what the team is currently wearing than what's true for Juventus, because Juventus is not going with a striped look, which as we will see I'm very unhappy with. Again, I'm going through the teams by alphabetic order within the group and not necessarily how they are there. So it's Atletico, Juventus, Leverkusen, Lok. That simple. And so we'll start with Atleti and the current Atleti home jersey. Um, I have to say, after two years of really crazy designs, I think before that they had this one, which doesn't look that bad, but you can see how the stripes are getting thinner towards the outside. We have a classic looking Atletico Madrid jersey again, and it's a beauty to behold. I absolutely have to say, I even love, I love it even more that the sleeves are striped as well. The only thing where this breaks down is on the back because it's raglan sleeves and then they put this stripe pattern towards the back and it kind of meets them in horizontal stripes on the back. That's the only downside to this jersey. And of course in that there's a red number plate. But other than that, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I really cannot complain about anything on there. Um, yes, I wish this crest or at least color the bear on the new crest the same way. Make the tree green and have the bear brown. I think then I would be even happier with the crest overall. But you know, uh, it's a really nice looking one. Fully deserving of the nine stars that I gave it in my La Liga jersey review. Uh, nice is also what I would use to uh, call the away jersey. Although, you know, it's a little bit too monochromatic overall. But as an away jersey, it works really fine. You have the black. Then you have red flowing into pink accents. What I do like most about this jersey is that in order to make a statement, even the sponsor went with the discolored version, uh, which we cannot see for the home jersey, although I have to say that the sponsor fits, except for the silver here, very nicely with the overall color scheme of Atleti. So it's not a big deal here. Um, it's just in red and I think it looks quite strong. Crest is also monochromatic. Uh, I'm wondering whether... Yeah, but if you have to white it... I mean, it makes a stronger look this way, but you know, I'm always a little bit wondering. Couldn't it, wouldn't it look better if we had full color crest on there? But I understand. Uh, to make a strong statement, it had to be this way. Again, I think it's a pretty sharp looking jersey, it's not my favorite, it's not very strong looking, but uh, it's also not super super exciting, except that it's black. For that reason I gave it 6 stars and I'll stick with that. And then we have the third jersey, that now we have a, a really nice view of it, which is kind of fitting into this Nike retro line. Look at the color, this is the type of color that Nike had at the very very beginning, it was like mid 90s, they used to come up with this color, which um, I remember I thought this is really, really, really weird. I wouldn't even know how to call this color, to be honest. But it's the Nike mid-90s color. Let's call it that way. I also find the choice of color for Atleti shirt is a nice one. I'm not sure why we didn't have to navy. Again, sponsor fits very, very nicely with the rest. Um, the pattern on there, I'm a little bit at a loss what this should be. I mean, it's kind of a pinstriping, but there's a slightly, a, a, a bit more of a pattern to it. Um, here we have a full color crest, which actually looks nice, but it's also a little bit just slapped on. You know, that's the problem with... Um, I typically would go for full colored crests. I would prefer these, um, but sometimes it just does, it doesn't fit, and here it doesn't fit because the blue on the crest does not fit with the accent color of the rest of the shirt. If they, those wouldn't match, I think it would make for a more cohesive look. You could also discolor the crest uh, to match the navy. That would also make for a stronger look. And for that reason, I would just call this average nice for the memories, but Atletico Madrid never wore anything like that. Color choice is okay, but overall I think it's not uh, a super outstanding shirt either. Five 
stars. Let's get to the seeded team and boy have I lost a lot of words already for that one in my Serie A jersey review, the Juventus home kit. For once, okay, half and half look and at least the stripe is a little bit um, maintained by having the sleeves also in contrasting color. So on the black side you have a white sleeve and uh, vice versa. Also it was kind of made this, the motto behind the launch is be the stripe. So if you put them all together in a team picture, it's a striped look. It's not a Juventus shirt. I said as a one-off, fine, I can live with it. The one thing that I cannot live with that to me makes this jersey really good is the pink line. It's not necessarily because of the pink per se, but the color color choice. It's a Juventus color. I mean, the first jersey was pink, but it just comes out of nowhere and is completely not motivated by anything. If at least on the color was also pink. I think I could defend this more because I mean that way it's black and blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, there's a little bit more black on the jersey, especially on the back. And the shield is also black. I do like however how the, they did with the sponsor. That looks clean, I have to say that too. Uh, not on this picture, but on the match picture you also see, and this is my other thing that I really don't like, is that the Scudetto is above the Adidas logo. Scudetto should be centered. I have the Adidas logo center and put the Scudetto to the right. I mean, we know the Scudetto should be here on the left side, but that's not what's happening anymore. So yeah, for all these reasons, it is definitely not my favorite Juventus shirt. I understand for a one-off, okay, I hope we will never see this look again. Four stars. The Avengers is another odd choice, really, really odd choice. For me, red is not a Juventus color. Uh, and given the black and white look, having a white jersey with red as an alternate look is also not making too much sense to me. I have to be honest uh, as much. Uh, it looked downright weird when Juventus played in Florence in this look with white and the red pants. This is not a Juventus look at all. What saves Juventus in a way is that the crest is so monochromatic that it can put almost any color on it and it will still look Juventus-like. So um, that's a strong thing they have going for them. There's also a certain camouflage pattern on there, which... why? Honestly. Um, and I think even the three stripes, you know, it's just in a slight, slight, slight dark, darker gray to make it kind of a very boring jersey. Boring and not Juventus colors. I mean, Again, it's not a bad jersey per se, but I cannot give it more than four stars. It just doesn't fulfill its task of being a proper away jersey. That I would give to the third jersey, def definitely. And we have seen it quite a while, uh, quite a few times already. Namely, when they played in Madrid at Atletico, I also saw it in, in, in the league. And I have to say, in play, it looks much better than it looks here. Here. I don't like the steely color of the blue, but most of the uh, most importantly, uh, Juventus usually pairs the blue with some sort of yellow, and here it's with white, and that does not quite fit with me. But as an away jersey, this one makes a whole lot more sense. Um, I don't know what the pen is supposed to mean. I think it looks odd to me. Uh, with white pants or with blue pants, um, I think the overlook is alright. I mean, it looks Juventus when I see it in game. But if I see it up close, it does not necessarily scream Juventus to me. For that, I would wish a little bit more yellow on there. You can have the Juventus crest in white, that's fine, but at least make a stars in yellow and you know give me the three stars stri stripes in yellow. Add a little bit more. This is more would be more like a Juventus look. Still it's not a terrible one, so that's why I gave this only five stars. Um, I think I will stick with the five stars, although I think an argument could be made for six, but I think I'll stick with five. Okay. Next team is also one that we already talked about in the Bundesliga jersey review, which is Bayer Leverkusen, um, who now have a home jersey that to me looks definitely more uh, Leverkusen than uh, the previous seasons, which we will see in a sec. For me, Leverkusen should play in red with some black accents at home. We have Jako, um, who have this, the branding is kind of these circles uh, down the sleeves, um, which I actually find an interesting 
accent. I like the slightly classic look with the diagonal stripes. That's all right. Um, even the black sleeve cuff. So all over, I think it's a strong looking jersey. It maybe lacks a little bit excitement, but what it lacks in excitement makes up for it in that it's kind of a real 80s look. And the 80s were a good period for uh, Lever Leverkusen. So um, kind of a little bit of a trade-off. Uh, the color might not look very in the 80s, it's more like the Nike color. For that reason, seven stars for this one. The away jersey is last year's home jersey, which I have to say, as an away jersey, I like it a whole lot. It looks much better as, as an away jersey, especially black. I mean, it's a kind of a PSG look. PSG should uh, use this look. Mm, wonder if it would look better if the red center stripe would be solid. Also, the sponsor. I think the sponsor just right over this pattern would have worked. You don't need to break up the pattern here. I'm quite convinced of that. They would have looked nice uh, without the black background, but I think it's. A really really nice jersey one that I did like last season it's just not a Leverkusen home jersey for me that was my main gripe with it I know Leverkusen is really changing one a red then a black then a red then a black and then they used the previous uh, jersey as the um, away jersey for the upcoming season which has to be commended because that means we don't have three new jerseys every year eight stars for this one and the third jersey is basically the home jersey in gray, beige, boring. I mean, it's the same design. The one thing is that the monochromatic crest, the pill is black. There was no need, the pill was already monochromatic. Give me the pill in white. This just looks odd. I mean, would you take a black pill? Really, really, really not. Um, to me, it looks boring. And for that reason, only four stars. And lastly, finally, a team that we have not looked at is Lok Moscow. And I gotta say, by Under Armour, they are supplied. And I have to say that this home jersey looks quite nice. I really like the green and the slight red accents, which is kind of playing with the club colors. Uh, we have this um, side also on the sleeves, also a little, a little bit red. And other than that, it's very clean. I like the button. It's kind of this grand. That color really looks sharp, I have to say. I uh, really like this one. Strong look. I think I want to give this... Uh, I'm actually thinking high. This is really a strong look. I, I, I'm, I'm going to give this 9 stars. It has just this classic timeless look to it. Absolutely love this one. Um, the away jersey. I, in principle, I like it even better. However, I think there's too many color patches on there. I really like the green shoulder. I like even the red color, but I think what they do on the sleeves kind of drops it down a little bit. Um, there's just too much going on then suddenly. Um, although it kind of fits with the home hunter, but the home hunter just look that much cleaner, especially the, also the color. I mean, the color on the home hunter is really look really nice. So I would say this is, yeah, I still would give this seven stars. It's, it's still a nice looking jersey. It's really a strong look um, and a nice play with the club colors. I mean, Morocco should have something like this for an away jersey. And then lastly, we have the third jersey. That's the one where I'm a little bit, uh, yeah. I mean, we have the nice color, but what's the, with the gray inset on the front so that the red button pops more? I can put a gray button there and, let, and leave this red. The metallic crest looks odd. I mean, it fits with the overlook for the jersey, but gray is never a color that I will like. I mean, I get the red. You know, if they would have done white and then green on top, and maybe have the entire color in red for the home for the away away jersey. This would look, would have looked stronger. So I mean, there's stuff there that the away jersey didn't do, but the color choice and the monochromatic crest. Uh, well, I, I should say the chromed crest just doesn't quite look right to me. Four stars for that one. Well, that ends part four of the. Champions League jersey review. Let me know in the comments below how you like these jerseys. Uh, what grade would you give these? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, see the next few parts as well. And I will talk to you soon with part 5. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel 
as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my sub-universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.